everyone, it's Jennifer. Welcome to another two minute training from your favorite speech therapist. Today, we're talking about dysphagia. Dysphagia is a medical term that means difficulty swallowing, and it can occur in a lot of different places, starting from the mouth and going all the way down to the stomach. It might include trouble chewing, not being able to safely move the food down the throat, regurgitating already swallowed food, persistent acid reflux, and so on. But no matter the cause, all dysphagia is serious and can lead to what's called aspiration, which occurs when a person accidentally inhales food, liquid, saliva, or even their own vomit into their lungs. Now over time, or if an event is severe enough, aspiration can lead to pneumonia. And pneumonia is bad because it can cause an infection in your lungs that can be deadly. People who are most at risk for aspiration are people who have had a stroke, have Parkinson's disease, cancer, muscular dystrophies, and even people with advanced stages of dementia. To know if you or your loved one is aspirating, you'll want to look out for one or more of these symptoms. Coughing or wheezing while eating or drinking. A feeling that food is stuck in your throat. Trouble trying to swallow. Pain when swallowing. Chest pain or discomfort. Developing a fever shortly after eating. Feeling congested or having a wet sounding voice and or shortness of breath or fatigue. Now, this list is not all inclusive and some people aspirate food and liquid without showing any outward signs, which we conveniently call silent aspiration. But if your loved one is having any of these symptoms, then you need to talk to your doctor or get in touch with a speech therapist right away. And that's a wrap. See you for the next training.